your Chris 6 weather forecast. All right, welcome back on this windy Tuesday in South Texas. We were left with a morning low of 64 and an afternoon high of 87 degrees, 14 above normal for this time of the year. And the weather headlines, uh, windy through early tomorrow, about uh, 7, 8, 9 in the morning, with gusts as high as 40 miles an hour between now and then. We still have the wind advisories we showed you at the top of the show. Near record high heat here tomorrow as highs will be in the 90s and the record high is 91 for Corpus Christi and uh, we'll be very close to that. Desert dry through Monday with uh, above average temperatures uh, until Monday. 79 degrees southeast winds at 33 miles an hour right now. It is howling and uh, that's why the temperatures are lower near the coast. Remarkably so just 68 in Flower Bluff next to that 64 degree water temperature at Packery Channel, but you get inland away from the water. It's 91 in George West and 88 out there in Freer and San Diego. 33 mile an hour winds right now here and uh, also down to the south. It's blowing in Kingsville and Robstown along the coast. The cooler water is mitigating the winds a bit at Rockport and Port Aransas, so less wind. It's not mixing down uh, because of the cool water. We do have a little bit of sea fog as we did this morning, but mainly along the immediate coast, four mile visibility. That'll hold there all night long, as you can see through six in the morning. Goes away during the day tomorrow, but then tomorrow night when our winds turn back to the southeast, we're gonna see some big time fog roll into the region. Let's take a look at the winds. And again, they are blowing tonight, so the fog won't be too big of a problem, except right along the immediate coast. Still 15 to 25 and gusty in the morning, but then by noon, the winds drop off to nothing. And this is when our temperatures are going to soar uh, to the highest levels of the year so far here tomorrow with these light winds that turn light back out of the east. This dumps that low level moisture back into the air uh, here at four o'clock and that shuts off our high temperature progression. So we may not make it, but I think we will. And that's uh, what I'm forecasting. And then the winds pick up tomorrow night and carry that fog inland across the entire coastal bend. Light winds though again on Tuesday, that'll be not, or check that Thursday and that'll be nice. All right, so when those winds shift tomorrow, the humidity drops off to 55% in the morning and then on down to 35% extremely dry air in the afternoon. And then the moisture starts to come back here on uh, tomorrow evening as the winds shift back off the water. Satellite shows that we've got sunny but hazy skies now flowing into low pressure up here in the uh, central Rockies. This is going to turn into a major winter storm for the upper Midwest uh, over the next uh, couple of days. For us, low clouds in the morning, sunshine. Here it comes in the afternoon, and that's what's really going to heat us up. All right, the uh, weather pattern continues with this southwesterly flow until this low kicks out. That's going to send a little front through here on Monday, and that's our only shot at a change in our weather pattern, and we certainly need it, uh, but it's not going to produce any rain. We've only had an inch and a quarter of rain since the 27th of November. That's almost three months ago. 69 for the low tonight here, 69 degrees in February, 91 tomorrow. That ties the record. And uh, then we're looking at a seven day forecast of 63 and 85 Thursday and mostly cloudy into Friday and Saturday. So low to mid 80s, still holding in the 60s for lows with no rainfall. And then on Monday, we get that little front and just 77 and a brief cool down to 55 here Tuesday morning, but right back up into the 80s Tuesday afternoon.